Let's learn how to make effective presentation. Part 1. In this lesson, you will learn the reason of presenting, what do you need to prepare before presenting, and the structure and phrases you need to use while presenting. Why do you need to present? There are two basic categories, academic and business contests. In academic contest, you need to give a presentation for your course projects, graduate school seminars, and international conferences. You also need to give your presentation in business contest, such as internship, before interview, and formal business presentation. Now, let's learn what you need to know before presenting. First, you need to know who your audience is. It's crucial to know your target audience. Put yourself into your audience shoes. Address your audience needs. Second, you need to know your purpose. Tell your audience the reasons they are there to listen to you and the purpose of your presentation. Once you know your target audience and the purpose of your presentation, it's time to organize your presentation. First, let's look at the structure of a presentation. There are three main parts the opening, the main body, and the closing. You also need to use side posting phrases to connect the three parts. Let's look at the example. When you use the side posting phrases such as let's look at or I want to look at, actually you are telling your audience that I'm going to introduce my topic. If you want to explain something else, you can use what I mean is. Side posting phrases can help you structure and shape the main content of your presentation. They also create verbal signals which allow you to guide the audience through the structure of your presentation, linking one point to the next. Now, move on to the opening part of a presentation. Opening or the start of a presentation is crucial because it provides basic information audience need, such as who you are, what is the audience here, what are you going to talk about, how are you going to organize your presentation? Let's look at the body part. In this part, you need to introduce your subjects by using side posting phrases, which help you organize the presentation. Link your topics by using side posting phrases wisely. You need to guide your audience by telling them exactly where you are on the roadmap of your presentation. Let's look at the final part, closing. Closing part is the most important part of the presentation. For closing your presentation, first, you need to give signal to your audience that you are about to end your presentation. Then give a brief summary. In other words, give an overview of what has already been said. And finally, the most important one is conclusion. Then use closing remarks to end your presentation. The final part for this lesson is the list of some useful side posting phrases. For opening a presentation, here are A, B, C, D principles. A stands for attention. You need to capture your audience interest instantly. B stands for benefit. You need to explain what they will gain from the talk. C stands for credibility. You need to show them you have the authority to speak. And D stands for direction. You need to give them a route map of the presentation. Here are some useful phrases you can use in the opening part. For example, if you want to get your audience attention, you can say, I want to tell a story about. What would you answer the question? Please raise your hand if you do something. To give the benefit to your audience, you can say, the reasons we are here is to do what? My objective today is to do something. 
and to provide credibility, you can use the following phrases. Let me introduce myself. I am. For those who don't know me, my name is. And to give direction, you can use the following phrases. I have divided my presentation into three main points. I'll be happy to answer any questions at the end of today's presentation. In a body part, if you want to introduce the subject, you can use a sentence like "I would like to start by," or "Let's begin by." When you finish a subject, you can use "In conclusion," or "To sum up," and so on and so forth, to signal that this is the end of your subject. In the closing part, here are some principles or structures which can help you organize your ideas, such as signal. Is to signal that you are going to end the presentation, and summary is to give an overview of what has already been said. The conclusion part is the most important one of your presentation, and finally, you need to thank and invite for questions. This is called closing remarks. So we can have signal, summary, conclusion, and closing remarks in the closing part. Here are some phrases to close the final part of our presentation. For example, if you want to signal that's the end of the, your presentation, you can say this is the end of my presentation. To make a summary, you can say to sum up. To make a conclusion, you can just simply use to make a conclusion. And for the final part, closing remarks, you can say thanks for your listening. I would like to answer any questions you may have. Now let's try to practice what we have learned. Think about the questions below. One, what should we know before a presentation? Yes, the first one is who is your audience. The second one, why do you give a presentation? Question two: What do we use as transitions and to introduce subjects during presentation? That's right. Signposting phrases. Okay, let's go with a more challenging task: the quiz. Can you have the correct answers? If yes, congratulations. If not. Please review what you have learned in this lesson. Let's review what you have learned. This is the structure of an effective presentation. There are three parts. You also need to use signposting phrases to connect each part. Here are some phrases which can help you structure and shape the main content of your presentation. Good job. That's the end of the lesson for today.